Hello, I'm Eric Wilson, and I'm here today to introduce you to a hot new wellness trend that actually has been around for thousands of years, the pilgrimage. Perhaps one silver lining that came out of the pandemic's gloom is that people all around the world rediscovered the simple joys and health benefits that can come from walking and purposeful connection with nature. So it stands to reason that once travel restrictions were lifted and that newfound walking enthusiasts would expand their horizons a bit further some of them exploring ancient pilgrimage trails. It's actually a global trend that has seen record numbers of travelers taking up multi-day hikes that are infused with some sort of spiritual component or cultural heritage across Europe, Asia, and the Americas. The numbers are quite amazing. Nearly half a million pilgrims completed the famous Camino de Santiago in Spain in 2023, which was a new record. The majority of them chose to do so, not for religious reasons, but for personal ones, such as their health, or enjoyment of adventure travel. Scores of avid trail walkers were also drawn to off the beaten path sites in Japan, such as the Shikoku 88 and Michinoku coastal trails, as well as buzzy destinations in Sri Lanka, Bhutan, India, and Italy that have all undergone extensive restorations thanks to their government's efforts to promote holistic tourism. Small group travel specialists, meanwhile, are reporting huge demands for these trips. Intrepid Travel saw a 445% increase in walking and trekking trips last year, and Walking Japan reported more demand for pilgrimage tours than the small roadside inns and monks' quarters there concurrently handle. One of the most exciting recent developments has been the opening of the 250-mile Trans-Bhutan Trail, which was the brainchild of its fifth king, who himself is an avid hiker. Savvy resorts and luxury destinations there are increasingly responding to pilgrimages and the demand for them as a means to improve the overall mental well-being of their guests. They're seeing the benefits of joining the slow travel movement. And many more are promoting their own types of pilgrimage to pilgrimages between their own resorts in these countries, Sri Lanka and Bhutan being the prime examples right now. But we expect that trend to, to expand around the world. From a wellness perspective, this trend has serious legs. After all, a pilgrimage is a metaphor for the path to enlightenment, engendering slow meditative travel, facilitating deeper engagement with our surroundings, and fostering a sense of awe. They provoke unexpected encounters with strangers that can lead to a greater perspective of the self, and more importantly, a better understanding of our own place in the broader world. Thank you.